To do the magic ring, you're gonna take your yarn, whatever size yarn you're being instructed to use, with your tail, two fingers, wrap your yarn around your two fingers, come up and make an X shape, all right? Take your crochet hook, and this is why it's important to make a really clear X shape, because you're going to go underneath this yarn, the first yarn, grab the loose yarn, and pull it under. All right, so then I pinch this, pinch it, release my finger, so still pinching, and then I will make a slip stitch, so that way I have secured that circle. Okay, so I got my little tail right there. Now, according to whatever your pattern asks you to do, you will make the stitch, it's either a single crochet stitch, half double crochet, double crochet, whatever stitch you're making inside the magic ring, however many you're instructed to do. So I will take my crochet hook, go inside the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So I'm just gonna make single crochets for the example, make however many you have been instructed to make. And then once you have satisfied that number of stitches, you will take that little tiny tail and you will pull the little tiny tail and that will close the ring, the magic ring up super tight. Look how tight that was able to close in on. All right, so now you're left to either begin continuous round, round two, or you'll slip stitch into the top of the first stitch, slip stitch, and then chain however many it's telling you to chain to begin round two of your creation. And that is the magic ring.